Okay, hello everyone. Corey Dowds of Eye of the Veda. I'm an astrologer. Why I choose not to call the universe the multiverse. It has become popular, it has become fashionable, it has become in vogue to call the universe the multiverse. And I have just kind of noticed that scientists can be very herd-like in their mentality and just do whatever the rest of the flock is doing in an almost religious type of way, which you would think they would not want to be that way. So I, I noticed this about the term multiverse. No one seems to be even questioning that we are that the use of this term now. But has science really proven that there are multiple verse universes? And how? How could they have proven it? Consider this. If you consider that the universe is infinite, it's infinitely expanding. This is what most people see when they study the universe, but this cannot be proven or disproven probably. I don't know if we'll ever be able to prove or disprove that the universe is infinitely expanding, but that is what everyone seems to agree upon is that the universe is infinitely expanding. And everywhere you look in the universe, it appears infinite. When you call something a multiverse, you're saying it's multiple verses, multiple universes. So you're immediately implying that it is many. It is manyness. Multiple means manyness. So as soon as you imply that something's manyness, you make it finite. You say it's just this many. So then the universe loses its infinite quality and it becomes a finite verse, <laughs> which we all know is not possible and not true. There is nothing, when you observe the universe, there is nothing that makes it seem like the universe is finite. There is nothing but infinity as far as you look out into the universe. <clears throat> and this is what modern science is also saying, that the universe is constantly expanding and is just infinite. And so if science is saying that, then they actually have to agree that the universe is one. It is a unity. It is a uni-one-verse. Because if they say that it's infinite, and they most likely think that, then infinity is beyond manyness. It's beyond finiteness. So infinity means one. The universe is actually just one big thing because it's infinite. So we have to remember this and hold on to the infinity aspect of the universe. So to say it again, so the universe cannot be disproven as being infinite. It most likely appears to be infinite. And so if the universe is infinite, then it has to be one. And really infinity needs to be defined as unity. And a lot of people don't see it that way, but infinity is unity because of the same point. Finite infinity, sorry, finity to be clear, finiteness indicates manynesses. So if the universe is a multiverse, then it's not infinite, it's not one, it's many, and it, we lose, it, none of it makes sense anymore. So this is why I will not, or I choose not to call the universe the multiverse, because I think it's just one of those little trendy fads of science, and then in another 10 years, they'll say, no, that's not true, this is true. And all those people that religiously believe science, <clears throat> and yet think they're scientists, they don't actually pour through the fossil record, they just believe in evolution or believe in these things blindly, don't read the peer-reviewed data, don't read the journals, then yeah, they're acting just as religious as religious people and just don't want to admit it. Okay, so I hope you guys uh, enjoy this little food for thought. Thank you.